so in this video we will be seeing about the licensing of the isolon so for licensing go to the cluster management and get into the licensing here and so basically all the license are license uh, based upon the number of nodes available on the cluster so let's say this cluster has three nodes so you will need to get uh, three license of uh, whatever the license three into license of whatever that you are acquiring so now let's see what are the license available here as these are the evolution version the trial version it's showing as evolution uh, if uh, if it is a um, no production cluster then it will show as signed and unsigned or licensed or uh, unlicensed so basically for licensing what you will need to do, do this uh, select the softwares uh, which are which you need to be licensed uh, let's say I want to uh, license a new software then just open active file wizard and select the softwares that you need so in this case I have selected all those softwares and uh, review changes and uh, create a file and uh, check for the uh, licenses so here you can see all those requested files it will show here and it will automatically uh, select the number of nodes so here you can see the current nodes are 3 and the request nodes are 3 so and it's, it's checking for nodes with self encrypting drives so here there are no uh, self encrypting drives so it's showing as NA and the tier capacity also NA and accept it so once you are done then complete the process and download the activation file so once you download the activation file it will save as a .xml file and what you need to do is that you will need to log into the the software licensing uh, tab in the EMC site and then upload this uh, activation XML file there and with your email ID I mean with your uh, service account that you have configured for your uh, uh, EMC account service account so once you are done from there you will need to activate the software license and once the software license is activated from EMC Isilon side on the SLC, the software licensing central portal, then you will get a um, you will get a downloadable file that you need to upload it here. So once your uh, no, license gets approved and activated, then you will get a uh, signed license file in your email ID as well as you can you will be able to download it. So once you download that, you need to upload that particular file and here you have to upload and activate it so once it is activated then it will show the status as activated and it will show the expiration date as well so this is how you have to license here and so the here it shows the license status as unsigned as we haven't uh, uh, signed license for any of the softwares and all are using the evolution version that's it for this lecture we'll see you in the next lecture